Guys, it's today. I am finally getting my stitches out. Good morning, beautiful friends. I say finally. It's only been two weeks. It's been two weeks exactly since surgery, but since my bandages fell off two days after surgery, I've been able to like see the wound. It's been open air a lot of the time just because, I mean, they said that was okay to do. So I've seen the stitches. I've seen how well it's healing. And I have had so many stitches in my life and I've had them taken out so many times that it has taken a lot of self-control to not take them out myself. And don't worry, I didn't do that, but it would have just been so simple and felt so good to have them out of there, but I was a good patient, I did what I was supposed to do, and I waited. So here's what we're looking at. Also, side note, if you don't like incisions or medical stuff, I'm gonna definitely show that in today's episode, so just beware. Cover your eyes if this is not your cup of tea. I've gotten a little bit better at like wrapping it. You see how it like sticks out, like points out like that? I hate how that looks. I've been trying to perfect the art of wrapping it. A, a nubbin or a stump. Slow and steady. Slow and steady wins the race. Ta-da! I feel like this looks exponentially better than last time. And yes, I am aware that it kind of looks like... I'm gonna go with the descriptions of it I prefer. Some people have called it a heart. Yeah, we'll go with that. Or, or a peach. It also kind of looks like a butt, okay? I'm well aware of that. But that is mostly because of the swelling and also there's a scar down the middle of it which kind of causes that like folding in. I really hope that goes away. It looks weird, I get it. So something I am really excited about actually after seeing how I like came out of the surgery is how small it is in comparison to like how it was even a couple months ago. A big issue with having limbs fitted for prosthetics is that they're like constantly changing size, right? Well, mine is a lot smaller than it was when I had, I feel like this was so long ago. Do you guys remember Christopher Walken, our good buddy, my prosthetic leg? Here we have him. It's awesome looking down and actually seeing two feet. So just as kind of some reference, this was my previous socket. So this is like how small my leg is in comparison to it now. Like, it should be a super tight fit, and look at all this space. Like, I could stick my hand in there literally with my leg. It's crazy how much it's shrunk. Yeah, that socket is like huge now in comparison, and so this means that when I get recasted for my new prosthetic, hopefully in a couple weeks, there won't be so many constant modifications to make. Like my leg is still gonna change size, change shape over time, but it's not gonna be so drastic, which will totally save me time, money, trips to the prosthetist. I'll still have to go, you know, like on a weekly basis for a while to get it adjusted correctly. And also will save me from having to have a totally new socket as soon. So that is, that is good news. Cause like, I don't know if you can see, it's like, it's actually not that swollen. Like compressing it down in a shrinker or a liner for a, a leg, it's actually gonna get pretty small. So that's awesome. New. I've also thought for weeks it looks super weird. It's like my skin just stopped being skin right there. I think that's where they reattach the muscle, hence why there's like an indentation in my leg. This is a weird journey, guys. It looks odd, but I love it and I'm gonna embrace it in all of its weirdness. All right, so check it out, guys. I have two stitches left over here. This one literally fell out. Swear to God, I did not take it out myself. And then I have four over here. They're all gonna come out. I was a little bit worried about all of this um, swelling. You see how there's like still giant bumps here? Oh, hi, cakes. Did you just want to interrupt that shot? So that's where the bursas were, that's where they were cut out of, but it's pretty much stayed the same size ever since I took the bandages off. I mean, the swelling's gone down a little bit in like the surrounding area. It is worrisome when I see like two giant lumps still there, but I have to tell my brain that like, calm down, Joe. It's just post-recovery surgery, dead swelling. I'm sure everything's fine. I'm actually not sure because I am a worrywart. Let's head up to Denver and see what my doctor thinks. This is what it looks like to try to crutch carrying things and carry a camera. Talent. Nope, never mind. So be kind, have courage, treat yourself with dignity. Walk tall, speak sweetly, and be brave enough to leave. It's when you're caught in the darkness that comes over me. Remember yours is a light in the dark. And yours is a light in the dark.
stitches out Steri strips on. Mmm, does not look delicious. So what's next? I am waiting for the swelling to go down on my stump and then I'll wait till the Steri strips come off in like a week, a week and a half and we should be good to go. It's kind of a figure it out as we go thing pain wise, but I'm meeting with a prosthetist on Monday and I might be meeting with another one later in the week kind of just to discuss different options. And then I might have a leg back, guys. It feels really nice to have the stitches out of there. Like have you ever had stitches in and you can like feel them in your skin? Yeah, I'm really glad those are gone. Have you heard about summer snow? When it falls on you, your blood runs cold. But don't you sweat your pretty skin? Cause it melts away for it sinks in. And you dream about this very night. When the moon runs down the summer sky. Could it be the morn? Thanks for coming to Denver with me and my doctor's appointment. I love you guys. I'm thinking of you, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Have heard from the sky, all about it, down the river, high tide.